How to write an extemporaneous speech. What is an extemporaneous speech? An extemporaneous speech is a type of speech whereby the speaker is supposed to prepare for it quickly and present it, usually in less than 30 minutes. Extemporaneous speaking is typical during speaking competitions or public events. The speakers have to organize their thoughts fast and coherently present them. They then choose their words while talking. Other experts refer to extemporaneous speech under its shortened name, extemp speech and others as impromptu speeches due to the limited preparation time. This speech can serve several purposes, persuade, inspire, inform, etc. To write an extemporaneous speech at a lightning fast speed use the following four steps. Select a topic you are familiar with, craft an outline, support your ideas, points, create a concise, strong conclusion. Step 1. Select a topic you are familiar with. The first step you should take after receiving the instructions to present an extemporaneous speech is to develop a topic. Because of limited time, choose a topic you are conversant with and try to think of several points you will discuss in detail. Using a familiar topic will make the entire process easy as you will quickly brainstorm the points to support the topic. Step 2. Craft an extemporaneous speech outline. Having a short extemporaneous speech outline assists you considerably when delivering the speech. So, create one quickly. The two common ways of creating an outline are alphanumeric and decimal. You use alphabets and numbers to highlight your sections and points in an alphanumeric outline. On the other hand, for a decimal outline, you use decimals, such as 1.0, 1.2, 1.2.1, etc. Step 3. Support your ideas or points. Once you know which outline to use, which should take a couple of minutes, start scribbling the key points you may discuss. Write as many as you can within the shortest time. Ensure the points connect to the topic. Afterward, choose a handful of the points you know well about. Search for evidence that you will use to support each point. Around two to three pieces of evidence are good for each point. The evidence can be in the form of examples, statistics, or quotes. Five minutes are enough for you to write many points. Choose the ones you can support with many pieces of evidence, then jog down the points and their supporting evidence. Remember to be quick, as time is not on your side, and you'll pick the words when presenting. Step 4. Create a concise, strong conclusion. For the next two to three minutes, draft a strong conclusion. The conclusion should be short. Just restate your main points of arguments. Then, insert an impressive closing remark, such as a quote, anecdote, or call to action. How does an extemporaneous speech structure look like? This section will show you how to structure an extemporaneous speech. A key point to remember is that an extemporaneous speech has the same structure as an essay, introduction, body, and conclusion. How do you structure an extemporaneous speech introduction? As always, you should start an introduction with an attention grabber. This can be a famous quote, statistic, anecdote, or any other smart line that intrigues or surprises the audience. An anecdote can be an event that occurred in your life or to someone close to you. How do you structure an extemporaneous speech body section? Try to discuss a few key points in the body of the speech. This will make your audience not to be bored and overcrowded with information, making it easy for them to remember your speech. Each key point needs to be supported by around two to three pieces of evidence. Be specific and straightforward when talking about the supporting evidence. Being too general will make your listeners lose interest and feel bored. You can also use anecdotes when discussing the topics. It will make your speech more engaging and relatable. Explain how you felt in that event if you want the listeners to relate better. How do you structure an extemporaneous speech conclusion? You should restate the topic under discussion in the first sentences of the conclusion, then briefly touch on the key points of the speech. You see how you started the extemporaneous speech introduction with a bang, the conclusion should end with also the same effect. Thus, have a strong closing remark. 